www.ipcdr.com. I'm here at IPCDR with A. Flores of the Pinar Del Rio Group. And this is, we got to say, awesome to see you today, too. Thank Great. you for taking the time to talk with me. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> so what exciting things do you have to show everybody from, from the show today? Well, um, we're launching a couple new lines, and then we have a limited that I'll show you in, in a minute. Mm -hmm. But um, the standard core line right now is the PDR-1878 Tapa Maduro. Um, we came up with a sister version, uh, same blend inside OK 98, but instead has Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper. So it actually is nice peppery, still creamy, but because it's OK 98, even the binders, you still feel the pepper coming through. It's pretty good medium body Ecuadorian cigar, the natural wrapper. Then over here, if I. Uh, you guys remembered the yeah. Capa School that was a limited run that I did, like the, they call it in the whatever the holiday blend. I'm fully it, fully launching it now, and then I came out with a Habano version, oh, awesome. and that's uh, all Dominican puro, uh, Habano with arriba, Criollo '98, Corojo, uh, and I actually had to put two binders on that. I put a Criollo '98 uh, binder and a Habano binder just to ump up the pepper and the more strength on that. This is more creamy, more aged. The, if you ever smoke this, like it's very white ash, um, medium body, a lot of flavor. This actually there's more of a punch to it, more nicotine, uh, a little bit more. The peppiness comes through. Uh, and then down here, it's the it's the Liga Especial Reserva Superior. Um, I call it my superior blend. That is pretty much straight Ligero, all Ligero. From Nicaragua, and, uh, Jalapa, and uh, Esteli. Um, has a little bit of Dominican, it has this tobacco called Negrito Canca. A very high percentage of nicotine in it. And also I put two binders in it. A Brazilian Bahia wrapper, uh, binder, and then a Nicaragua Banda, Nicaragua uh, binder also, too. It's very, starts off, Powerful. It's not overly spicy, but it's pretty much a nicotine bomb. You smoke halfway through, you'd be like, well, Have a meal before? Have a meal before. <laughs> cool. so. Okay, good. Well, I have a question for you. Yeah. Let's say it's a perfect day outside. You're having a cigar, you're having a drink. What are you smoking and what are you drinking? I'm smoking what I'm drinking. Uh, pretty much a Lancero, uh, the Seva Dominicana, Capa Oscuro. And my favorite drink is a Johnny Walker Black. Very nice. So, Last question I have for you is someone who is a, a new consumer, been smoking for a while, but kind of getting themselves associated with different brands and companies. What's a good introduction that they should, uh, that you want them to know about, about what you put into your cigars, about what you stand for, and about what you want them to have in their experience? Well, I want them to, uh, the thing is, I make, I work very hard to make quality cigars for the average guy. So, you know, a lot of people will say, well, this, this should be retail like $10. You know, I'd rather, you know, I'm, I come from a working class, I've worked very hard in my life, and I'd rather pass it on to the people who work hard every day to enjoy a good cigar. So, I do my best to do that every day. I make sure the quality is there, the heart that I put in there, the, the labor, the time, you know, it's all about my cigars. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll be speaking with you soon. Take care.